Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I actually shot a, um, it's weird to see my t-shirt, isn't it? But look, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it only says, so it says, no matter what on the front, see the back? It says sweat every day. So this is uh, from our folks at Under Armour and I wore it on purpose because I'm gonna show you when I got home from my trip. Look at this bad boy that was on my counter. So I'm gonna show you some underarm goodies. But first I wanted to, in my last video, I was kind of making a point about um, calories and how sometimes, um, I brought this up before, you know, some people will go, oh, I ate too much last night. I'll just go for like a 10 minute run or, you know, they usually won't say that. They'll just go, I'll run it off. I'll, I'll stay extra five minutes at the gym. And they don't really think about number one. A lot of people just don't take the time to get to know what the calorie count is and the nutri nutritional value of most foods, which is really what you should do because it's going to help you make good choices so that you can cheat and have indulgent meals when you want. You just got to know what you're eating. The more you know what you're eating, I'm so not used to wearing like a t-shirt, it's weird, um, then you can plan. It's basically about planning, you know. If you're going to have a big meal like that, know the calories you're consuming on a Friday night or whatever so that you don't, you know, overkill and pig out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, and compared to what you've worked out, it's not enough to help you from gaining weight, let alone, you're certainly not gonna lose weight. And I said in my last vlog, you know, I had just finished doing my turbo fire workout. I worked out for about an hour, and I burned 450 calories. And I had, it's down the garbage disposal now, um, I had bought um, donuts for Michael and his kids, and I bought um, a Long John because I had that in my memory from when Amy and I were hanging out. And then I looked up how many calories were in a Long John and indeed they are 410 calories, if I'm correct. Now, if I want to, <sighs> there's frosting underneath from when I just threw them away. I have no problem eating the frosting. Um, somebody's gonna watch this and be like, that's disgusting. That's what nails are for, to keep little snacks for later. Anyway, my point is, I could have one of those donuts, and again, I want to reiterate that my points here are not to say, don't ever eat bad food. My point, my point is, my point is, make, make your choices, okay? I can have my typical breakfast, which is either overnight oats or because I just got home from a trip and I have no Greek yogurt and the usual stuff. I can have my big, huge, which is bigger than my head. Um, egg white scramble which, with a little Parmesan cheese, which I think makes all the difference. A huge bowl of oatmeal with PB2 in it, which again, makes all the difference. And my huge ass cup of coffee with my new Keurig. So I kind of went with putting the, um, yeah, that's wasteful, I'm sorry, but I'd rather be safe. So I put the donut after shooting a video about it. How strong-willed am I? I put the donut in the garbage disposal, and obviously I'm making the choice to eat my healthy food, which tastes delightful. Mm. I like what I eat, you guys. I, I would tell you if I did not enjoy the food I eat. I'm a little sick of tilapia right now, um, <laughs> but I know, you know, inevitably I'll get back into eating that, so that's fine. So. Two things. Well, first, before I show you the Under Armour goodies, I saw these in TJ Maxx, and I'm obs you know I had to get these for myself, because you know, first of all, I'm obsessed with coffee mugs, and second of all, especially that they're big, they have to be big, because clearly I like to have a nice cup of coffee, but this one says princess, and then on the inside, it says princess, and <laughs> this one's like, you go girl, which I love, and I'm trying to find out the name, it says it's, see on the bottom? because I want to know the brand of what company makes this, because I'm sure they have other fun ones. It says Housenware Inc., but then I looked up Housenware, and it's basically just a pottery company, so they work for other companies, and I don't understand why there is no brand on here. I'm going to have to Google, like, you go girl mug. We'll see if we can find it. So if anybody knows who makes these, I love, and of course I can get them for myself. So let's see what's in this box from the kind folks at Under Armour. And it, I have to say, I previewed this last night, so it's quite delicious. I am a huge fan. A lot of my Fitfluential ambassadors were doing the um, What's Beautiful campaign with Under Armour, and a lot of them had gotten these. Is that right, the, the correct word? 
received these, whatever. How funky are these? Okay, these are very similar. I guess this is the name of the shoe, Micro G. I gotta tell you, first of all, okay, you've seen me the first haul that I did. Um, oh, look how fun that is on the bottom. See? Um, these are about as light as you could possibly imagine. Now, I've told you guys in the past, it tends to be my preference that I like a shoe with a really solid bottom. Here's my preference. Everybody has different preferences, so what shoes I like and prefer might not work for you and so on. So I'm always trying to tell you, here's what I think of the shoe and then here's what I like, what my favorites are, and here's what I tend to like. I don't, in the past, like if somebody showed me uh, Vibrams, anything that looks like those, you know, five finger shoes, I would never wear. Because you guys know, <laughs> I like my shoes to look like they have heels in them. Um, it's just, oh look on the inside too, you see? Um, now, I do like when I'm wearing any kind of workout shoe, whether it's for running or kickboxing or turbo, turbo fire or whatever I'm doing, weight training. I, li I just like to feel like my foot is locked in in some way. Now these shoes, because I have some similar, I should have brought those out. Remember the green and, um, they were like green and blue, real bright colors like this color. Um, I have this and the Under Armour Spine. I love the Under Armour Spine. They're more solid and, and um, they have a more, a bigger, bottom and then I have the other pair like this that I would call you put these on you kind of feel like you have socks on they're very light but yet at the same time I gotta tell you surprised you feel like you're locked in like I feel stable enough to wear these with kickboxing or I, I don't know that I've worn them weight training um, but I was pleasantly surprised like I thought oh you know these are gonna be cute to wear maybe with capris and like doing running around, but I wouldn't work out in them, but I was surprised. Now these I just got, so obviously I haven't worked out in them, but they're like the others, very light, and of course I'm loving this ass. So there's the shoes, I'm at seven minutes. Um, very excited also to test these bad boys out. I think these work together. The, and you need to like just Google this and look up Under Armour 39 and watch the videos. So check that out. Um, now this is normally something I would not in the past have worn, but now that I'm finding myself like walking around in between, first of all at the gym, um, but also kind of just walking around in between workouts and you know, I will wear flip flops. And these look, and I'm usually like the only one who's never worn flip flops. Plus I can't lie, they have a little platform. So I like them. Um, and look at the cushion, can you see the cushion? Cushiony. Um, now, loving these t-shirts. I believe they come in all kinds of bright colors. See? Very thin too, which we love. It's called Charged Cotton. Um, love that color. It's a, if, if it's not coming through on video, it's like a really sky blue. And then, ooh, okay, so this is like, I'm changing my opinion on these kind of shirts, okay? Now you see me share some of these from Reebok as well, um, and in the past, see how it's like a mesh, okay, and it's very loose. Um, I guess I'm becoming more comfortable with this style as I lose weight. Um, you know, I've lost a lot of weight and the, the area where I'm still losing weight is in my core, and I do believe a lot of what changes in your body as a woman as you get older, you do just get thicker, even if it's not necessarily like fat, you get a thicker waist. My waist, you know, my body is looking much less hourglass and it's much it's getting much more like that and and I'm fine with it but anyway I've always been a little paranoid to wear the blousey types of tops when you have boobs of course let's be honest now that I've lost weight I've gone down a whole bra size and there's like not a lot left right here for the moment but anyway I am now kind of into this because if I was gonna be running outside I would feel okay wearing like now, what I would wear under this is the Under Armour sports bra and then this. And I might wear a tank and then on top of this, but I'm kind of changing my mind on this. I thought it would make you look fat, but it doesn't. Here's um, another bright orange with the t-shirts, a little bit more of a v-neck. Was the other one a v-neck? Um, which I just love. Now this looks fun. How cool is this? Can you see that it's see-through? Um, or like mesh? And it's a jacket. So cute. So this is um, Under Armour Studio. But can you see that it's, see that? Love, and I love all their jackets. I just love how they fit. Um, baseball hat, 
Now, check these out. Look at the socks. Those are going to look so funky with the shoes. I love the bright colors that everyone's making. These are killer. Um, these are some capris. I'm very excited to start wearing capris. I've worn the same kind of um, long workout pants with different tops forever, and now I'm really excited to branch out into capris. And it's also giving me more motivation to lose, um, you know, I still want to lose another 10 pounds because it's all around my middle, and I really, I feel like the only thing that's keeping me from wearing some of my cool workout clothes is there's just enough puff on top that makes me go, oh! And I gotta tell you, Under Armour makes really cool uh, gym bags. So it's almost like Percy, you know? Get it? So, uh, I believe I've shown you everything, which is significant, and thank you, thank you to Under Armour um, for the stuff they got. And I will, as I wear it, of course take pictures and tell you how the feel is and whatever, but obviously I have really not liked anything that's been sent to me. Very excited to try this out. So I will give you uh, the results of that. I'm at 11 minutes. I want to go eat my food because I'm really hungry, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay? Ciao.